Skywalker back. No cops, remember? No cops. No cops. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go meet the person. Yeah, you got the proof of life on your wife. Yeah, the the driver's license sitting in the the, the seat. Okay. Yeah. Just kind of hop out there. And the guy also told you no cops and all that. Yeah. And your buddy's in town. Yes, we have to. Oh, jeez. The box kind of flickered a little, little bit. Little Z fighting, yeah. A little Z fighting. It's when uh, the the textures are fighting over who gets priority on display there. Okay. Yeah. Uh. He's just passed out. Oh. Oh, there's a TV up there. Oh, hello. Writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes from nothingness, the way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Also... <clears throat> yeah? I glanced at the screen. Was that Alan at the typewriter? Yes. Ha. Huh. In the cabin. <laughs> ha. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I Sorry want a I'm... room that's a replica of his writer's room. <laughs> Sorry if I, I'm saying stuff from like ahead because there are a few tiny aspects I know. Like yeah. he's like he has a typewriter and he writes stuff and yeah. Like, no, um, by all means, he's... brainstorm while you're playing it. Like. Bear in well, mind, it's... you have a little bit more clarity than a lot of people had early on, which is why a lot of people weren't huge on the game at first. It had to grow on people. But you've got enough books in you. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent regrettable little outing. They're not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. The Anderson brothers, are those those guys in the Tor and Odin, yep. Never caused any trouble to anyone, but they were still living in their and their farm. Indeed. All we can do now is slow down the progress of their dementia. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and say, you kinda cut me off Didn't and I think you were answering a completely different question from what oh, I asked. Sorry. I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the metal, the majestic, known for... Or, uh, the motel, the majestic... That was a word salad. Yeah. Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... <laughs> Was that the guy with the punchable face, yes. Dr. Hartman? <laughs> okay. And here's my hero, the is, god among men. Is this Barry? Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off my client. Barry Wheeler? I'm Barry, okay. Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels don't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. Oh, goodness. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Your sweater is stupid. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. <laughs> I love this man. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. <laughs> Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. Max? The dog. They got loose. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. Oh, from the radio show. Great seeing you again, Mr. Wake. Who's Max? <laughs> There's a question. Yeah. If I had not listened to that radio show prior, mm -hmm. would she even mention Max? Yes. Yeah. Since I wouldn't know. Okay. Okay, now what? the question I was going to ask Sorry. before, <laughs> the Anderson brothers. Yeah. So I guess what you answered, is that the old gods? Yes. Okay, because the question I was asking was, are those the guys from those silly commercials? Oh, no, no, no. They're not in this game. 
Okay. Thank Sorry. you. That's the Coscula brothers. Coscula brothers. Okay. Because, yeah. like, you you said, oh, yeah, that's that, like, immediately. Sorry, I was trying to catch up with the voice acting because they and were saying And immediately it said, yeah, so-and-so and Tor. And I was like, I'm pretty sure Tor is the band guy. Yeah. All right. My bad. Jeez, Mr. Uh, take a swing at everybody. It's not her fault. She's a very nice girl. And more importantly, a fan. That's right, Barry. Rose is cool. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al. What you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? Are you high? Have you been drinking? Yes, to all the above. No, look, Barry. I'm missing a week and someone's got Alice and everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story, Al. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket for the funny farm. Wait here. Wait here. Oh, no, that was you saying wait Oh, here. was that me saying it? <laughs> oh. I wish they did have name tags next yeah. to Yeah. Hey there, handsome. Hold on. Bucktooth Charlie. Yep. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't think those are buck teeth, but you know what? Sure. Skeleton of a Colombian mammoth. This specimen estimated to be 14,000 years old. He doesn't look a day past 13,000. It was recovered from the La Brea Tar Pits in 1981. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 98 when the Columbian Mammoth became Washington's state fossil. Named Bucktooth Charlie, it has since become the park's official mascot. <laughs> Why name it Bucktooth Charlie? <laughs> Why not? Bear. Bear. Hats. I would buy that plushie. Oh, the elephant one? Yeah. Or no, the mammoth one. Yeah. Is it? It's the mammoth. It's Bucktooth Charlie. It, okay. I'd right. buy that. <laughs> <clears throat> Is there any other silly stuff to uh, interact with? A manuscript page? A, a, might be thermos a thermos I can around. steal? A chair I can uh, I can manhandle a little bit? All right, I'm going to go talk to Rusty. Wait, hold on. There maybe. Oh, thermos. Thermos where? There, okay. I was about to say, I see a coffee pot here, which means there should be a thermos somewhere. <laughs> Coffee will thermos. Don't see what? Ooh, med kit. Med kit. Oh no, that's a uh, that's not something you can open here. My brain went to M Max Payne. It's a Max Payne reference because oh. those are all over the place in that game. Oh. You open them up and they have your painkillers and ammo and all. Okay, painkillers. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. It's uh, fine. <laughs> all right, out the door. Knocking over furniture. Pardon me. Sorry. Excuse me. A little tipsy. Easy boy. I'm almost done. Sorry, I had a little too much of Grandpa's old cough syrup. Mr. Wake, I'd shake your hands, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Bucktooth Charlie, I'm well acquainted. Also, okay. okay, sure. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end in disaster. You've got to talk to the cops. Nope. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No, this whole thing... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. you got to understand how crazy this all sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out. It's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh at Barry. <laughs> well, you had me going there. Real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Bear. Attack <laughs> Barry. All right, on the desk across from there it is. <clears throat> oh, Sonia, I thought I was br And you did, now you've got it. Okay, I was about to say, am I bringing it to him or am I doing all the paperwork for him? Hand over the form. <laughs> Think this is the form you wanted? Now here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Take... Thanks. I mean, and you are a, a famous author, so you you have the money to throw around. Right, true. Take me into the nature trail. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Okay. Get the keys, get to the car. Got it. Wait, hold on. You will find the radio mast? You hit L button to focus. Ah, so okay. Look for that on the horizon, and you'll be going the right way. Okay, cool. All right, hop in car. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air. Hey, I shot a lot of dudes that went poof. 
A guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms. Strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves. Uh, excuse me, those are called the hug myself jacket. The what? Eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe this kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. I felt that. What was it? There's no proof. It's pure bullshit, period. Yeah, no, that's me. <laughs> Guess the last on me, then. Al, come on. I mean, okay, okay. Maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if... Oh, sorry. I don't remember who that was. Oh. That was... I only saw it because his mouth... No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Alright, cool. Anyway. Push. <clears throat> I'd say, Barry's a bit of a motor mouth, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is. But he's also the character that is the most logical. This is crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff. Or call the FBI. Derek Barry the killer. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. Going to Lover's Peak, he said to come alone. Okay, okay, then I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. That's you. <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates tourists. We're going to be deliverance all over again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> going to get halfway there and I'm going to hear dueling banjos. I love Barry. This place Please. is trying to kill me. Bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is not worth a 15% commission. The well, moment's kind of looking around for any... Uh... But you know what, though? His... Tiny doughy ass was ready to jump on anybody in that room f filled with cops. Barry absolutely has your back 100%. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Bigger batteries. Yoink. I mean, because you did deck a dude right in the middle of the police station. You should be locked up right now. Should I switch the lights? Yes. Should I? Yes. Really? Yeah, give them light. Are they on or off right They're now? They're on right now, oh, aren't they? Oh, leave them on. Sorry. I was about to say. I was like, I feel like that <laughs> would be a bad idea. Yeah, no. Leave them on. Kind of looking around, see if maybe I can get, uh, if I'm going to need weapons. Yeah, check your weapon stash. Do you have any? Not a thing. Okay. I am very unarmed and incredibly not dangerous. There might be stuff that way. Yeah. Hup, 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 hup. Run, 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 run. Hustle, hustle, muscle, muscle. Sadako? <laughs> hey, cutie. You in there? See a thermos. Where? Is it is there? Oh, there it is. Okay. I caught the flash and the blue. I saw the blue from afar. I didn't see the, uh, the little flash bit there. Never forget. <laughs> huh? The little chair falling over. Uh. Uh, about 15 years ago, there was like a mild 1.0 earthquake that hit somewhere, and there was like footage of just one of those chairs falling over, and it just said, never forget. Oh, Maybe. goodness. <laughs> It just became a thing for a while. Anytime, anytime something technically bad happened, but nobody was harmed. Yeah. Oh wait, here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit, every step of the way, Al. Locking the door now. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh. Oh. I just suddenly have my gun now. Oh. Okay. Cool. Was not a. Oh. Manuscript. Script. Oh, and they did say I can get in the car. Yeah. There might be goodies in here too. There. Uh, there are no goodies. In there, there are not. Got my hopes up. Okay, use. The keys to the car he'd rented. It wasn't a long, a long walk to the visitor center. It wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Okay, so you can't take Barry's car. Heck. That's Actually, fine. let me go ahead and... Uh, Barry doubts what... Oh, all right then. Barry had never gotten along with Alice. But he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now, something had happened to Alice. And here was Al, armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. He scared the shit out of Barry. And yet he's still here. He's going to complain right. about it the whole time, but he's going to be there. But he's and here. He's going to do the right thing. He's here, and it helps. They should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done. 
I was still angry, at angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. Kind of looking around, because more than the uh, thermoses, I want the manuscript pages, because there's actually juicy yeah. stuff in those. Those typically get dropped along your path. They're not as hidden as the other items, because the game does okay. want you to get those. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I, w I will go ahead and say... Yeah? After last, uh, the first stage, I'm not comfortable only having 12 bullets. <laughs> yeah. And but no now other you, weapons. And now that you realize that they're going to take all your stuff away between chapters, don't be afraid to use your Big Bang Pal weapons. Visitor, so center. visitor Center's down that way, so maybe explore the building to your right. Yeah. Raccoon? Sky Raccoon? Alright. Okay, so there's a down there. I'm going to go ahead and do the not smart thing, and I'm going to check out this cabin. Hello. There's a radio in there. Oh, that's a radio. Yeah. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Absolutely expecting, like, a fucking body to fall out or something. <laughs> Anything else before? Hi! Oh! Oh! I was not expecting to see him there. That actually kind of made my skin crawl a little bit. Hey there, fella. <laughs> well, you got the lights on, so he can't come in here. Oh, he can't? No. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure that, like, if it wasn't intense enough, he could come in. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit the radio and then get your fight on. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going hit to the, hit the radio. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your Deer Fest plans like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. Ha ha ha! Go on. No plan, really. Just take in the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Don't oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? Ha <laughs> ha, yes, exactly. Exactly, Pat, but I'm going to check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. Well, that takes a different kind of constitution. Ha <laughs> ha, oh yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact... Just caught a heck of a largemouth bass early this morning. Oh, that duck. Okay. Okay, yeah. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no. Not this year. See, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the piece of, the piece of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy that you feel that way. Ha, ha, ha. Well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. So I guess that's the end of it? Yeah. Okay, uh, so, Mr. Uh, walk around the window. He's out there somewhere. Yeah. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to try for, well, you know what? Dive out the window. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to hit the lights and see if he approaches me first. But I thought, you know what? I don't know what else is going to come up in this room if I turn off the lights. Here's what we do. We trick him. We light the house on fire, which will make him think, Oh no, a fire. i got to run for help. And he'll run away, you see. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slowly approach the door. And then I'm going to run like my ass is on fire. Like this. Like a brave boy. Where's he at? Hmm. Where's he at? I don't know. Maybe he wandered off. Maybe he wandered off. Okay. Uh, maybe it was... Just a clue that you are being just, stalked at night. Just foreshadowing that I am not safe? Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and say we're at about that point. And I'm definitely looking around already because he was <laughs> yeah. right there. I'm telling you, this game is effective. It's not like a full-on horror, but it's definitely got enough to go, okay, there's a thing... 
even one by himself isn't a threat. You've dealt with that, yet the game has still got you going. But the fact right. that, like, I don't know if they're like roaches. If there's one, if you see one, there's yeah. actually like ten of them. Also, it's the fact that he didn't do anything. Right. It's the, Like, maybe he's just scoping me out at the moment. Yeah. It's worse when they don't do anything. Okay. But you got a safe haven up there. Tell you... You know what? Actually, before we even do that, let's just... Let's just next time. Next time. 